The Mud Puppet Show is brought to you by the number 13. And by the letter H for half wit. And from the makers of Alien Splooge. It's ooey, it's gooey, it's sticky, it's icky. It's the space age good time goo. Get a deluge of Alien Splooge. Wow, they dedicated the studio to Jack and Carolyn Sotheby, Joel. Nobody deserves it anymore. No, it's true. I agree. I'm happy for them. It's just, uh, this whole dedication thing got me to thinking. You know, we've been entertaining the masses here in Wind Up for three years now. True. When are they going to dedicate something to us? They could do the clock tower downtown. They could do that weird totem pole thing. Or even the fence that they put in front of the burnout husk of lions, tigers, and beers. They already dedicated something to us. They did? Yeah. Ryan, really? This is it? Yeah. I don't, I don't know about this. Is, why does it say the Ryan and Joel Adkins Memorial Toilet? We're not dead. Maybe they're trying to send us a message. I mean, this is kind of a letdown in terms of dedication. Hey, time to pay tribute, boys. Pay tribute? You know what? That's kind of nice, actually. Yeah. See? Yeah. Should, um... Should we leave? No. No, I want to see this. That was nice. That was. I, it's moving. I feel, yeah, I feel really good now. Very moving. Very good. Wow. Welcome once again to the best show on Wind Hot Cable. <laughs> the Mud Puppet Show. Let's jump right uh, into it. Yeah. You guys know we've been awaiting word from city treasurer Dodd Browning. <clears throat> we asked him to come on the show, sing happy birthday to Mud Puppet Ryan, wish him a happy birthday, bring a cake maybe. Ryan. And, and here's the thing, I had a birthday in March. I had yeah. a birthday in March. Yeah. Dodd. No birthday wish for me either. Ryan, have you heard from this man? You know, Joel, I haven't heard anything. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. It hurts. Of it course. Hurts. And desperate times drive men to desperate measures. And I'm not proud of this, but I'm going to admit it right here, live on the air. Let it out, my friend. I broke into Todd Brownie's office. Fair enough. And there, Joel, I was clawing around through all the birthday banners and balloons and horns, frosting, all the things you would find in a normal person's office. And I found it, Joel. The official Todd Brownie birthday scroll. Wow. It was locked away in a file cabinet. I jimmied my way in, and it was glowing. And I picked it up, Joel, and it was old and crumbling in my hands, but I was very careful, and I rolled it out. Rolled it and rolled it, and it was it was long. It was long. Every person in the city of Wyandotte is on that scroll, Joel. Yeah. So what did it say? And there were our names: Mud Puppet Ryan, Mud Puppet Joel. We were on there. We were on the scroll, but next to our names, in the bold handwriting of a city treasurer that's unmistakable, right there in edible frosting, it said, "No effing way." It said, "No effing way, Joel," and I just. You know, Todd, Mr. Brownie, to show respect, that hurts, man, that you would go to the trouble of getting those little precision cake tools and writing no effing way. Yeah, that, that shows premeditation, intent, I dare say hatred. So I've given up hope, Joel. We're not going to get the birthday wishes that we so desperately deserve. Well, you know what? That's, that's okay, Ryan, because we're moving on from this, all right? Yeah. City Treasurer Todd Browning, you had a chance to make this right with Song and Pay Street, but you chose not to. And in doing that, sir, you've exposed your birthday wishes for what they are. They're as hollow as a card without cash. So, Ryan, if you will, do the honors, my friend. Dodd Brownie, you are just too scurred to deal with the mud puppets. There you are. You are on the list. To stay. Look at that. Uh -huh. You see those names on there, and that list continues to grow. And I'm not even going to say those names today because I am so disgusted with their behavior. You might say, Joel, that brownie just got burnt. <laughs> oh, nicely done. Wash Beautiful. our hands of it.
Wash your hands of it. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Dry them. We ain't gonna sweat it though. No. We're not gonna sweat it. Of course not. Because you know what, Joel? It's springtime in the city. Mm -hmm. And we know that there's tons of great events going on. Through in the spring, city of summer, not? fall, yeah. I mean, we love it. And so we wanted to jump aboard and talk to the, the people out there. Everyone knows about the street art fair. Everyone knows about like the plays in the park and stuff. The parades. The parades. We want to talk about some of the lesser known events. They don't get as much press coverage, but they're just as fun. Absolutely. Uh, what do you have for us, Ryan? Well, first off, we have all summer long free bikini waxing um, taking place in Bishop Park. It's behind the big dumpster. And according to this, you just asked for Terrence. You go up there and ask for Terrence, free bikini wax. You think he does Brazilians? I I bet he would do just about anything gonna, for a small amount of money. He's going to hook me up. Oh, yeah, you're going to look good. Well, I've got an event right here, Ryan. Yeah. Uh, you know how they have adopt-a-pet programs, like at the animal shelters? Absolutely. This is a little different. Uh, this is a return-a-pet program. You know, for maybe for anyone, you bought your kid a chick or a rabbit for Easter. Oh. You're too dumb or lazy to know how to take care of it. Yeah. Return-a-pet program. This okay. is running the entire month of June, being put on by the New Horizons Chinese Cuisine. It's a new business here in downtown Wyandotte. It's open to the general public, and they're asking for, quote, uh, anything furry with four legs. Let's probably just leave that there. Let's get all over that. Uh, you know, Joel, firework safety classes. Very important. So important. You don't want the kids out there getting hurt. No, no. June 28th and 29th, um, instructors, Four Finger Frank and Ted, I lost my genitals to a Roman Candle Wilson. Special guest, Channel 7 meteorologist Dave Rexeroff is coming in, and he'll be there keeping an eye on the kids. Um, just one. Yeah. Great event. Well, and who would know about firework safety better than that trio? No. Right there. Nobody. Uh, another event, this one very exciting. This is a, a, a friend of the Mud Puppet Show, Porthole Pete. Porthole oh. Pete has a booze cruise this summer, July yeah. 1st through the 4th. Uh, you will board the Brown Eye Bruiser in Bishop Park. Now, this is an event for men only. It says oh. here, no ladies allowed. I don't think they want the wives or girlfriends coming. Male bonding. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the captain has some words. Uh, come aboard the Brown Eye Bruiser for sun and fun, booze and song. It'll be a gay old time with games and events such as Hide the Peg Leg and the inaugural Poop Deck Swabbing Championship, uh, capped off by the annual hunt for the lusty dugong Sheila. Uh, gentlemen, bring the lube by the bucketful. I'm not really sure what that uh, is supposed to mean. And I'm sign up for that one. It says here you can find more info. Uh, you can email funandfriskycaptain at gmail.com. Write that down. There you go. All right. Uh, Joel, it's not a tumor. It's a free cancer screening. It's put on by the Society of Overly Positive Oncologists. And I'm not sure why they're so positive, but it's got to make you feel good. You go there, they're like, it's not a tumor. Absolutely. Great you know, event. No matter what it is, they'll tell you that. Health-related and it's free. Yeah. Uh, piggyback, piggybacking off of that, Ryan, uh, this is another... Um, um, free health screening. This oh. is actually being put on by uh, by us here at the Mud Puppet Show. Right. Um, this is the Mud Puppet Show free breast examination. This is actually taking place indefinitely. Yeah. You come to the cable studio. You Anytime. You ask for one of us. We will be summoned. Any member of our crew, um, if you are partial to Ryan or myself, ladies, you can request us. But the rest of the crew has graciously set aside their time to volunteer Absolutely. for this event. Now, it is open only to ladies uh, ages 18 to 27. Yeah. And in parentheses here, uh, it just says uh, preferably busty. Now, and you know, well, well, someone has actually crossed it out, and beneath it, it says just kidding. All are all are welcome. I was gonna say, well, well, don't well, worry. And, we'll, but actually, someone oh. has scribbled that out, and beneath that, very haphazardly, has written, but seriously, at least a B cup. Yeah. Well, don't worry. We'll we'll tweak that breast event. <clears throat> All right, right now we're going to see a promo for Mud Puppets Radio. That is our podcast available on SoundCloud. When we return, we will be joined by heel fan Harper Floyd, who's appeared on the show before. Now he has started his own program, Heel Fan News, right here on Wyandotte Cable. A stick around. You remember the time I hid the clicker? Your dad was watching all of us kids? Yes. And the controller disappeared. I was bored. <laughs> yeah. I hid it under the couch cushion where I was sitting. But then... <laughs> After the questioning began, I missed my window to be like, <laughs> it went too far. I'd already lied about it. The first lie was essential to the joke. The second and third and fourth lie went somewhere dark. And then I remember at one point your dad said something like, 
Well, someone here's got a serious problem. I felt so ashamed when he said, someone's got a serious problem. I was like, I'm the one with the problem. Welcome back to the program. Right now we are joined by heel fan Harper Floyd, my friend, crew member of the Mud Puppet Show. Welcome back to the program. You were on back in, what was it, November? Yep, I sure was. And now... She, this guy's had quite the transformation here at Wyandotte Cable. <laughs> Meteoric Rise. Started off as just a run-of-the-mill goon trying to break into the studio on one of our episodes. As most of us do. You, know. you became a volunteer, worked camera on the PWL, worked some of the live events that we cover, the remote events, and then you became the producer of the PWL. Can you talk about this amazing transformation? Well, you know, I, you know, I started my own show a couple about a year and a half ago on the internet. And I felt, you know, I'm helping out here. You know, I helped out the PWL, and I was like, you know, I'm restricted a little bit, and I want to get unrestricted. So I became my own free agent, started my own show, and here we are today. Now let's be clear. When you were working on the pro wrestling locker room, um, your official position was director. Yes, it was my official. You worked the switcher. That's what the director position is. But, as anyone who was in the know knew, you were doing all of the duties of a producer as well. Yes, I guess I was. You were bringing ideas to the table creatively, and those ideas were being um, pushed aside. Half used. Mm -hmm. You know, he'd say, oh, that's good, we'll use it, and then, oh, well, I, I like half of that, we'll break, we'll, you know, we'll do something with that and then add something else to it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to get up back to all that a little later in the interview. Right now, let's focus on your new show, Heel Fan News. So you started it on the internet, now you've officially brought it to Wyandotte Cable, and it's a long, a long time coming. This is something you and I have talked about for a long time. I've encouraged you to do your own show. I'm happy to see you doing it now. Uh, talk to us about that. You know, you're right. You, you rat on me like, hey, man, you, you're so good. You know, just do it. Just do it. Get your own show going. So I was like, yeah, I'll do it finally. And, you know, took the time where you know Bubba was bringing more people in so I figured you know he didn't need me no more mm -hmm. so I stepped aside said let's do this get my own crew going and now if you've watched from this past week midget wrestling everybody loves it <laughs> and that's what I want to talk about so your inaugural <laughs> show to debut you went was it St. Andrews Hall yes they had extreme midget wrestling can you imagine such a thing I can't, but I'm glad Harper was there to document it. Harper, tell us about this experience. Oh, dude, they're, they're nice guys. They're, they're really good. Um, I got to go in about two hours before everybody else showed up and got to sit backstage with them, have a few words with them. Um, you can see a couple of uh, profile interviews with uh, Little Rampage on this episode that's airing now. And in the second episode, we'll have Little Show. And he's like a small version of the big show, hmm. but I think a little more entertaining. Now, for people who don't know, clarify. Now, this is, a lot of times you go to an independent wrestling show, you might see a midget match on the card. No. This is, this is all midgets, the whole card. Yes, the whole card's midget. There really ain't too many midget matches at independent shows, so it was a nice change of things. Um, you can see midgets once in a while on the shows. Uh, of course, we all know about my crush, but we won't get into that at this moment. We'll save but, that for a little later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you don't see too many midgets, so the extreme midget wrestling was a nice change from the normal action that you normally see every weekend. And now this extreme midget wrestling, they travel the country. Uh, yes, uh, they were just in uh, Missouri, I think, this past week, where they did dwarfs versus midgets. No, okay, let's, <laughs> let's clarify, let's a slow battle down for of a second. semantics. <laughs> what, what is the difference between a dwarf and a midget? Okay, there's their height. A dwarf is just a four feet high, maybe a little higher than four feet, where a midget is no higher than three feet. Whoa, I see. So that's why hmm. some little people, if we can use the big umbrella term right. here, get offended when they're called a midget because they're technically... A dwarf. A dwarf. <laughs> wow, talk about splitting hairs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about um, some future programming on, on Heel Fan News. You are free now. Yep. Creatively, you're in total control. As you were not in the PWL, you can do whatever you want. So what kind of future programming are we going to see here on Why Not Cable from Heel Fan News? Well, you're going to see fan interaction. We're going to see a lot of fans because it's Heel Fan News. For the fans, by the fans. 
So we're going to get some interviews, some wrestling profiles, you know, talk with other independent wrestlers, have them show you what they can do, and then advertise for their merchandise and, you know, tell them where they can buy it but not tell prices because, you know, you're restricted for that here. Okay, so this is where your show, your wrestling show, and I will say after just one episode, already the best wrestling show on Wyandotte Cable. Wow, not that's the, high praise. Not the best show on Wyandotte Cable. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, come on. That's us, but the best wrestling show. This is how yours is going to differentiate from the pro wrestling locker room. Yes. You are really covering all of the independents. Every, if I, if I can't get out of Michigan, I'm hoping to have fans outside of Michigan send me stuff. I see. That way we can help all the independent and hopefully shut down WWE one day. Well, let's get, in, <laughs> let's, let's get into um, a little bit of the PWO rift. Um, you were trying to bring some other elements, trying to open it up a little bit more, which is what you're going to be doing on Heel Fan News, as we just learned. Um, but Bubba was really just about his own promotion, Metro Pro Wrestling. That's really what he wanted to push on the PWO. Well, well, not to get into to a war with him like, uh, you know, some people. <laughs> I'm going to keep what was going on behind the scenes with all that on the DL, mm. unfortunately. I'm going to try to be the bigger guy, as hard as that is to be. Oh. And oh. I'm going to take the high road. And we all know I love the high road. The heel fan does love the high road. That is true. That's what I've heard. Okay, but, but the split is complete and done. You and Bub have gone your separate ways. You will never work on the pro wrestling locker room again. Can we get you to say that right into that camera here on the Mud Puppet Show? I will never work on the pro wrestling locker room ever again. Bubba is wow. dead to you? <laughs> He's not dead to me, but... I want to hear you say it. <laughs> Bubba's not dead to me. I'm not going to go that drastic. Okay. But Pansy. he... he <laughs> Pansy. What? Whoa! Go ahead and whoa! Did you just call Bubba a pansy? <laughs> oh my goodness! I didn't hear anyone say pansy. No. <laughs> okay, but you're done on the. I'm done ever. with the PWL, and I will not help Bubba out no more. Sorry, Bubba, but you know what? I left tissues in the car. Thank you. One of your old crew members did stay behind, though. Paul Crum, the audio man, who we all know what Paul Polly Boy Crum likes to do. A little greasy degenerate. <laughs> You didn't bring him over to the Heel Fan News. He stayed loyal to Bubba. Is there? Are you? Are you done with? Is Paul Crum dead to you? Mm, no. <laughs> Deadish. That was a pause. Um, it's more like uh, he can stay there. I hear you. Oh. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. Not 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 top tier uh, audio man no, stuff like we got with audio no. man Matt Chambers. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you. is he available? Um, don't start poaching our talent. I think he's exclusive. <laughs> don't don't to our poach show, our talent. Actually, actually, yeah. No. Okay. Well, you know, I believe. Ryan has prepared a game for you, okay. as yeah. we like to do with all of our guests. So, Harper, we're going to have you play. I, I know you've probably heard F, Mary Kill, but, of course, this is cable access. we got to watch the language. So you're going to play Wrestle, Mary Kill. You're going to tell us. I'm going to give you three lovely young female wrestlers. You're going to tell me who you'd like to wrestle, who you'd like to marry, and who you would kill. Okay. All right, round one. Current day divas. They just had a great match at WrestleMania. Uh, uh Women. Oh, you're right. Women. They don't call them divas anymore. You're right. Mm -mm. Charlotte, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch. Oh, that's super easy. Oh. Um, I'll marry Sasha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, definitely kill Charlotte because she looks like a dude. Uh, <laughs> and you know what I will do with Becky Lynch. Steampunk all the way, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well. Very interesting. Now we're going to go back in the time machine. We're going to okay. take these three from their prime. Right. You know, back in the that, mm. back in the late '90s, Attitude Era. Sable, Sunny, and Terry Reynolds. Mm. Mm -hmm. That one's a little hard, no, but I would go marry. Well, I don't want to marry any of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I have to pick. I'd pick the lesser of the evil, which would be Sable, because you know she's a good housewife. Uh, <laughs> You can ask Brock Lesnar about that. Okay, I'll be able um, to do that. Yeah, you and Brock as, Lesnar would keep a woman in line just the same, I think. <laughs> oh, my peepee's a little bigger, but anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, I would uh, definitely, definitely get rid of uh, Sonny. Sorry, Sonny. I know we're friends on Facebook. So you uh, kill Sonny. Yeah, sorry. Let's use that term. And, and, and Terry, yeah, I, just one time would be good enough. You're going to wrestle Terry. Yeah, Mary Sable, Kelsey. Okay. One time wrestling. Very, very interesting. It is naked uh, wrestling, though, right? 
Oh, it's any kind That's of wrestling. That's what's you implied, want to my yes. friend. Okay. But thanks for hitting it with a club. You don't have to be completely naked. I mean, you just take things out. Uh, <laughs> finally, and this is going to be a tough one, I think. Just to cease, but we're we'll, we'll, we'll going to pretend these people are in their primes too. China, mm. Nicole Bass, <laughs> or Santina. <laughs> I'd say too soon, but I just don't care. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would marry. Um, Nicole Bass. Okay. She could protect you. That's, and, that's a good point. <laughs> as for China, well, I ain't really ain't gotta kill her off now, do I? <laughs> no, you uh, do not. Oh. She took care of that all about herself. Well, uh, unfortunately, she did. Good woman, though. Um, and but we're uh, here making dead jokes about her. And uh, who was the last one again? Santina. Oh, Santina. Santina. I definitely wrestle him. I mean her. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know Santina. Is Santino Morella? Oh, yeah, he knows. I just said that. And you'd wrestle him. Yeah, as long as you don't look into my eyes, it's not gay. <laughs> oh my lord, a heel fan, you're always an interesting guest. All your, hate mail goes to the heel <laughs> fan news. <laughs> your answers on these games are wonderful. You just managed to offend more people than we do, in an, in an episode, in just a single interview. So congratulations on that. Hey, it's not easy being cheesy. Wait, that was wrong. Scratch that. I'm gonna edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you want to catch Heel Fan News, you can do that right here on Wyandotte Cable, uh, channel 15 and channel 215. Harper, we look forward to more programming in the future. Good luck, my friend, and thank you for helping out well, here on the Mud Before Puppet I let Show. you guys go, I got a couple oh. gifts for you. Here are some logo stickers. Thank oh, you, beautiful. sir. Right thank there you. For you guys. Excellent. Heel Fan News. Right, right there and right there. Oh, yeah. And remember, very nice, very nice. That's news you can feel. News you can feel. Well, you know what, I wanted. I had a few more comments on that other wrestling program that appears here on Wind Up Cable, the Pro Wrestling Locker Room. You know, uh, we threw out the gauntlet last time after Big Bubba Luscious attacked us, and he said he was going to come at us with legal threats. Well, guess what? Uh, there's been no legal threats coming our way. Um, what we have seen from Big Bubba Luscious is a whole lot of cowardice as he's hiding behind others to fight his battles. Oh, yeah, because we know, Bubba, that you gave a ring-a-ding-ding -ding to the powers that be. And I don't know if you think that scares us either, but my friend, it does not. You know, he lost Harper. He went out to find himself a new co-host, okay? Right. Bubba goes out, finds the one guy in Wyandotte that's fatter than he is. <clears throat> and I don't know if you, you were already taken. Oh. <laughs> Thought they went unstated. Was... He goes, I guess this guy named Tim Masters. I don't know if you guys have watched the most recent episodes. Tim Masters, or I like to refer to him as the human marshmallow. Check out the latest episode, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> These boys are on their show talking about being Trump supporters, which doesn't surprise me, considering their collective IQ is somewhere near troglodyte. But, you know, that's a good thing, because they can actually help out their candidate, Ryan. You know how really? Trump's going on about building that wall? Sure. And who's going to pay for that wall? Uh, Mexico. No. No, no, Ryan. That's not even necessary. With a guy like Bubba and Tim Masters, all Donald Trump has to do is plop those boys right next to each other on the U.S.-Mexico border, ba-bam! You got yourself a wall. Cannot support these fat jokes, Joel. I won't do it. Here's the thing, Bubba. That's pretty funny, Here's huh? the thing. Instead of hiding behind Wyandotte's self-styled king, why don't you come on the Mud Puppet Show if you have such a problem with us and you want to defend your show? You know what? You can even bring your half-ton boyfriend with you. We'll reinforce the floorboards. <laughs> So there you have it. You want to come air it all out, you're welcome to. The floor is yours. <laughs> He's the one. Bubba, just remember, you said, and you should remember these words from the pro wrestling world, you want a war? You're going to get one. Well, let's see a promo for that Mud Puppets Radio. We come back. We're going to wrap things up with a special comment. Look, I don't think it's that crazy. Right. Moon boots. You're looking at me like it's not realistic. No. But I believe that that's completely realistic. We send shuttles into f***ing outer space. You telling me we can't get f***ing moon boots? What if the unicorns got a hold of the moon boots, though, and they started bouncing around? The moon boots are only for humans. Okay. All right. I, do, I want moon boots. Yeah. So I'm going to see if I can find some of those old moon boots on uh, eBay. See if you can find cost. some uh, old slime, too. I'll take Gak? that. Gak? No, no, no. The slime from Nickelodeon. Like, you can't do that on television? Did they sell that? Oh, yeah. Big vats of it. <laughs> you don't know just that. Big, big industrial vats of slime. You're just making slime. it up. No, I know. 
Welcome back to the program. We'd like to thank our guest today, Heel Fan Harper Floyd. Wish him the best on Heel Fan News. And of course, if you have a talent or something you'd like to promote, you too can appear on the Mud Puppet Show. Just shoot us a little email to themudpuppets at gmail.com. You can check out our website, mudpuppets.com. That'll link you to all of our social media, the Facebook, where you can like the fan page and become our friend. And we recently changed the name to Mud Adkins because Facebook's a prick like that. Yeah. The WordPress blog where you can read some behind the scenes stories on this here show. Of course, on YouTube, we have like 170 videos. You can watch past episodes of the Mud Puppet Show there. And on Twitter, I'm at Mud Puppet Joel. This guy right here is at Mud Puppet Ryan. And of course, don't forget about Mud Puppets Radio on SoundCloud. That's right. And now we close out with a special comment today. And the topic is actually. Uh, the Mud Puppet Show, and uh, Ryan and I really want to. We we had a very uh, we had a heartfelt discussion during yeah. that uh, thirty second promo yeah. for Mud Puppets Radio. Again, available on SoundCloud. Um, we understand that um, some citizens have complained about our show. They've called into City Hall. Um, that also um, some of the elected officials they they have resented the the fun that we have poked at them, and. Ryan and I just wanted to say that um, there was never any uh, intent of, of harm to be done. No, no. Joel, um, you know, we're not the types to stir up drama. No. We're not the types to hold petty grudges and keep feuds going. That's not what we're about. That's no. not what we ever wanted this show to be about. Mm -hmm. So what we would like to announce to our fans um, and to everyone watching, is that going forward, the Mud Puppets are going to try to have a more positive um, outlook, a more positive look at our city, a more positive outlook at our city council, the leadership here in the city, um, to shine a positive light, because we don't want it to be all about negativity. That was never our intention. That's true. It's very true. Um, so well, because of that, uh, starting with our next episode, there'll still be comedy. Um, Absolutely. But we're going to turn over a new leaf, because yep. we would like to give um, our council um, our elected officials and our mayor, um, the respect and the credit that they have so earned. Yes. Um, I think that says it all. Yeah, I think so. Oh, we'll see you next time, Why not? It was a mud puppet show But now we gotta go Come on back next time